Hello my friends and welcome to my King Black Dragon loot video. So I've got 100 kills for this video and it took around a minute and a half a kill. So it took about two and a half hours taking into account banking as well. And it was a long two and a half hours. This boss was, to be fair, not my favourite, pretty boring. And it seemed to mainly be giving me drops around 15k for the majority of the time. So it's not really motivating if you're a little bit bored and then you're not even getting like the money reward for it. But anyway, let's talk about the loot. So in terms of charms, I picked up 240 crimson charms and 8 blue charms. So for crimsons, it's actually quite good. And I left the gold and green charms on the floor because I don't really use those ones. So into the drops, we actually got very close to 2.3 million, which is surprising. I honestly didn't think we'd get much over 1.5 million. This is a fairly decent amount actually and works out to an average of 23k per kill, which is consistent money. And this is without getting any of the good drops like the Dragon Rider boots, which are fairly expensive at the time. We did get lucky, however, getting three Dragon Helm drops, which I believe are about 1 in 125 drop. So we shouldn't have even got one, let alone three. And this made us 176k between the three of them. But the largest sum of money came from the 100 Black Dragon hides, making us 363k uh, by getting one of them every kill, basically. So what we can see from the loot is there's no individual drops making up a huge amount of money. It's just several drops adding up to around 150 to 200k and in total adding up to the 2.3 mil. So how much is this per hour? Well as it took us around two and a half hours and made us 2.3 mil, this currently means it makes us 900k per hour. Which considering how easy the boss is, this is actually okay cash for lower levels. I did this with just a royal crossbow and royal dragon hide armor. So would I recommend this? Well, if you're a lower level and can't do QBD, then it's okay. It's just, it's fairly boring, but you'll make decent money from it. I personally prefer QBD because it's a lot funner, a lot more money, but it is a slightly harder boss to get into and you need to be a higher level to do it. So for the lower levels, KBD is definitely a good option. But anyway, thanks very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more RuneScape content and leave a little comment in the, uh, in the comment section, believe it or not, to let me know what boss or monster I should do next. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.